obviously the new clan versus clan siege is coming and you know some people have been talking about it in the comments about how nobody asked for siege nobody wants more pvp kraken related uh stuff in raid but i wanted to come to reddit and you guys already know what we're doing here we want to see what people on reddit are saying so what is your impression about the new content in clan versus clan pvp right now 142 people have voted i you know i'm, I'm i gotta be like right right in the middle i'm interested in the sense that it's new and i want to try it out at least but my expectations are going to be set low so that I don't get disappointed. And I'm not really going to invest too much into it, I think. So we'll see what everybody's saying. Most people are saying, oh, yeah, it looks fun to play. But uh, yeah, it seems like we're all over the place. Out of 144 people that voted kind of all over the place, I can totally understand why many would not be interested in PvP since it's mostly for whale stuff. Uh, right here, whale content time needed to play is a comment that i saw a lot on the youtube video talking about the new update and yeah all i have to say about it is remember it's a game you can choose whether or not you want to play it or not you can choose how long you want to play it or not you can choose what sections of the game you want to play for veterans i'm sure they're going to love it i'm a veteran i'm not going to say that i love it for new players it's just more reasons to kick them from a clan and slow their progress even more. I'm positive at this point that Polarium could give a fuck about new players. <laughs> they could join a cluster clan. I'm not part of one, but every one of them that I see advertise different tiers due to the stage and the effort a player wants to put in. There's even a clan section in official foremans. This mode is way too complicated. Yeah. I'm not sure how I'm going to find the time with all the other things I have to do in the game. Pretty much, yeah. There's there's a lot of things going on in Siege. I'm definitely not going to be doing any thinking. The way it's going to work is I'll probably hop on and I'll wait for someone to tell me what to do in the game because I'm just I'm just not going to really care that much. I do want uh, Lamasa, uh, Astra, whatever the champion that you get from doing Siege is. I do want her. So, you know, if it happens, it happens, but I'm not going to take it too seriously. Coming from a game that had a simplified version of this, not interested. It became a time sink, required significant money to be competitive, which is exactly what Polarium wants. Made sense when everybody was home for COVID and had time on your hands. That's true. I like the idea, and seems like there's a good bit of complexity to customize your tactics. I'm worried about how much time I'll have to sink it in. Yeah, exactly. Same thing. He's worried about the time. How many people can actually talk and coordinate with their clan? If you're a casual player, join or if you're a casual player, you probably just join a random clan to down UNM to do PVE content. There's still not enough information for me, but it's not the adventure of fire since at least something similar already exists in other games. True. Waiting to see. Biggest problem is that Polarium does not care about balancing champions. In my opinion, for optimal player experience in PvP game mode, there is a need for buffs, nerfs, dynamic metas. At least I think we won't have to face Armands every battle, which is good. I'm dreading it. As a clan leader, it sounds like a ton of coordination and hand-holding. True. This is going to be great content for highly optimized, organized clans. For casual clans, it's going to be a nightmare. Just a recommendation when making polls, blah blah blah. I'm not hype at all. Too much time-consuming for probably shit rewards you'll end up selling or not having enough gear to equip for. And it's a clan versus clan. I expect it to be combined with the worst of current live arena, CVC, Hydra Clash, all dipped into one single mode. Pay to win content. Yeah. So you guys already kind of see what the uh, the sentiment is. A lot of people are kind of all over the place, but general sentiment for the most part is that people uh, aren't really feeling it. From From what I'm gathering in the comments, people are kind of against it. And... Um, yeah i mean let's go ahead and look at this this post more time saving needed to be added to the game clan wars is going to be so time intensive we barely have enough time to compete with everything as is we need more quick battle options for content another thing i saw was uh people will ask uh, people blah, blah, blah. people were asking if uh they would add add more uh cheese uh not cheese sorry what uh energy i'm, I'm thinking about cheese right now sorry Energy. Our energy cap is at 130. It's been at 130 for the longest time. They should probably bump that up. B 
because having to wait for energy sucks. We need faster runs, like three or four times speed. Exactly. We need a four times speed. To use all my keys and complete all my daily tasks takes a long time alone. Now with the content, it's even worse. True, but you could also just not play the new content. If you're in a clan that demands that you are that you need to uh, participate, join a different clan. I have a time-saving tip for you free. For you free. Quit your job, save at least eight hours a day, and now you can play Raid. <laughs> this counteracts my, my money-saving tip you gave me yesterday. That's funny. I would like to see them do something like have the number of keys needed, just double the rewards. Every big content piece has a time-saving quality of life. Come out sooner after. Like Quick Battles came after Live Arena or Curse City. I don't recall. Expect them to do something about Hydra pretty soon. Yeah, I mean, it would be cool if they did a quick battle for Hydra because each run takes, like, what, 45 minutes to 50, 50 minutes? If you're doing full auto. If you're sitting there manually to get the absolute best score that you can do, you're probably looking at two, three hours. That's not including if you have to rerun because I know a lot of guys that are hardcore Hydra players and if they don't reach a certain million or a certain milestone by a certain turn, they just quit the entire run and restart. Or, you know, RNG happens, one of your character dies too early. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Hydra needs a quick battle in my op opinion. We need to... Uh, oh, we need at least some number of daily quick battles for dungeons. Yeah. So community sentiment is just that. Where it's just like, dude, this, this siege content is going to be a lot. It's going to take up a lot of time and a lot of people are probably not going to end up liking it. So, uh, and... <laughs> Personally, like, here... I'm in I'm in one clan that is that is competitive and we're probably going to do pretty well in it. My other clan I'm a little bit worried about, not that I care because I don't I like I said I don't plan to participate too much heavily into it, but I am concerned for the people that are in the more laxed clans that don't prioritize a lot of the PVP stuff who want to be able to enjoy this content. The biggest thing is you're going to want to, and Palladium's going to be very good about making you want to feel this way. You're going to want to participate in, and have fun in these things. Like, for example, Centronos. I, I want to play Centronos. I think there's some, un under all the problems, under all the, the BS that's on top of it, there is a mode in there that that is fun. But then you start diving in a little bit further. Not even, like, much further. You don't even have to go that deep. But it's like... It gets it to the point where it's so expensive to play Centronos that you end up just not doing it. Or like fighting Amius. Like I know I can beat Amius if I sit there for six hours and try to work teams and rework things left and right to, ma to make it work. But I'm like, I'm not going to do that. It's not worth it to me. So unless I can cheese Amius or find a really easy team to, to beat down Amius, I'm just not going to do Amius. Siege is going to be the same thing. You're gonna want to get um at whatever her her the, the the void Lego champion that's gonna be super super cool. That looks like a fun champion. I obviously want to have fun and play with that champion, so I'm gonna participate in in siege. But I also know that it's gonna take a crap ton of time out of me, and and I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I'm I'm ready to 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 commit myself back into that. And then again, like siege is it looks somewhat fun it's new at the very least and maybe through my lens that's just what it is maybe it's just something new and i'm i've been dying for something new in raid because it's all the same stuff in fact if you haven't even you probably noticed like i don't really do much in raid anymore like i have my my champion guides that i still want to do every now and then but it's just like there's nothing for me to, to to showcase or make videos for in raid that other people aren't already doing or haven't already done or that i haven't done myself so I'm waiting for something new to show up so that I can sink my teeth into it because, um, you know, at, at this point, I'm just here to enjoy sharing my thoughts and being in the community, but I'm not really showing you guys too much in-game content so much anymore. And it's like I could, but at the same time, like I have other channels that I want to dedicate my time to. And if I'm kind of just going to be, you know, here on the side uh, showing anything that can be you could look up 10 other videos for like a champion guide for an example i don't really want to do that 
but yeah, so I'm kind of just doing what I what I want to do. And hopefully Raid comes out with something that's a lot more fun than what already is. Hopefully Siege is something that a lot of people can play. Because I already, I already off the bat don't see this as something that a lot of people are going to be able to play. The cap, or the minimum, sorry, the minimum level you need to be in in order to play Siege is level 45. So obviously brand spanking new players aren't going to be able to play it. On top of that, you need to be in a clan who is more than willing to be organized and optimized and w willing to get everybody together to win this PvP CVC. And then if you want to go even further, you're probably going to need champions, right? So if your roster isn't looking too hot, more than likely, you're probably going to have to set out a lot of this, um, this siege stuff. 